The Heartbreakers scheduled to take on Stephen Dunn and Reno Regan. The Vols here, but Regan's getting knocked out by that cue ball last night in Nashville. And I guess Dunn's going to go at it alone here as he attacks the Heartbreakers here at the Inferno Bar, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Dunn now taking it to Caesar, backs him in, back elbow to Valentine, and just nails Caesar with a forearm upside the chin. He's well, not going to back down from a fight, Lee Tidwell. He was wearing out the side of the head of John Caesar, and then Valentine, the numbers game, now getting to Stephen Dunn. And Dunn's still trying to fight back. Big forearm to the back there by Caesar, make it three or four, and they're just going to wear down Dunn here. I don't know of any one wrestler that can take on the Heartbreakers two on one and be successful. Stephen Dunn, a tough wrestler, but it's customary that his partner, Reno Riggins, his former World Tag Team Champion partner, is in his corner, and he is not there this morning as he was injured last night in Nashville. The double shoulder tackle, tackle excuse me, taking uh, Stephen Dunn down. Riggins out with a concussion here for television this morning. From that cue ball shot last night in Nashville, the Heartbreakers still the Mid-America Tag Team Champions tonight in a six-man match. The Heartbreakers and Ronnie Brown against Bubba Shane Morton, Bubba and Shane Morton, excuse me, and JT Quest. What's going to happen tonight in Columbia? If you're a wrestling fan, don't miss it. Be there. Desiree on the outside with the Heartbreakers, and they're just wearing out Dunn. Dunn up to his knees now, and Valentine in with him. Valentine picking him up, whipping him hard into the corner of the Heartbreakers, distracting the referee, and here's Caesar going to get him a little bit on the outside. They're cutting every corner right here at Stephen Dunn's expense this morning, Lee. It's already signed for next week. The Vols versus the Heartbreakers in Nashville, but that doesn't help Stephen Dunn right here. Reno Riggins nowhere to be found. He's at home with a concussion. And right now we got the intense oh. John Caesar in the ring taking it to Stephen Dunn, whipping him over right on top of his shoulders. Kind of like a DDT suplex down for the cover, and Dunn just barely able to get that left leg on the rope to break up that count. Dunn was fighting it, but John Caesar's a big, strong guy. Look at those shoulders. Look at those arms. John Caesar's a good oh, young athlete. And he's got a hard head. Wow. Right between the eyes of Stephen Dunn. Stephen Dunn, though, he's one tough customer. It's going to take a lot to put him away right here on WNAB this morning. There's the tag in, kick to the gut there on Valentine by Dunn, make it two. Dunn now trying to take it to Valentine, trying to go over for the tag, and this is what happens when you're a tag team wrestler your entire life. Instincts take over. I'm not sure he exactly knows where he is right now, but he knows he needs to make that tag to Riggins, and Riggins is not there. It's like a seventh sense Lee Tidwell. He was reaching for that tag, but his partner was nowhere to be found. The only person he found was Larry Valentine. Oh, and he caught him in a DDT, Dunn. Just doubled him up with that DDT center of the ring. The referee's starting the count, and I would usually say Dunn desperately needing to make the tag, but there's nobody to tag, and he still doesn't know. Wait a minute. Wait, that's the Kodiak. That's Steve Hall. Steve Hall back in NWA main event. Where did he come from? He's not scheduled to be here, and he's up in the corner of Stephen Dunn. Ronnie Brown holding him now, and the heartbreakers, heartbreakers excuse me, double team and Dunn. Kodiak Steve Hall is in the corner, Lee Tidwell. We knew he was going to be in Nashville next Friday, signed to take on Jeff the Crippler Daniels, but we did not know he would be here on NWA main event this morning. Elbows between the eyes of Caesar. Just wearing him out now, trying to get out of that bear hug, that vicious bear hug from John Caesar. Another elbow. Backs up, goes for a tag, and get, just gets caught by Caesar, and then drives the back of Stephen Dunn in the turnbuckle. Stephen Dunn fighting back. He's fighting him on both fronts. He's giving him everything he's got. Lee did well. Into the ropes, ducks the double team. And Dunn with a double close out on the Heartbreakers, takes him down. Dunn desperately needs to make the tag to Steve Hall, who's in the corner, fresh and ready to go. He's got to get the Kodiak in here. He's got to tag him in. Dunn crawling to the wrong corner. Here's the referee still with the count. Dunn now Steve Hall. He sees Steve Hall in his corner. And tag. there's the tag. The Kodiak's in the ring. Kodiak, Steve Hall. You know he's friends of the Falls, and he's here to help out Dunn now. Whips Valentine in. Big close line by Steve Hall. Now taking Caesar. Backs him into the corner. Hard to the turnbuckle. Big backdrop there by Steve Hall. The Kodiak. House of Fire coming in, taking Caesar, whips him in, back elbow, taking him down. He's taking it to both heartbreakers here, Rick. Like a ball of fire, he's taking it to both heartbreakers here this morning. He's taking them, and he's taking everything they got. Oh, spear! He just speared right out of the boots, John Caesar. Who's Ronnie Brown going for? There's the Crippler. It's Jeff Daniels, the Crippler, Jeff Daniels, and Dominique. And wait, he's got an envelope. What's going on here? He just handed Dominique an envelope. 
and now Daniels rolling Caesar over after he nails the Kodiak. Jeff There's Daniels hates Ronnie Brown. What's he doing here this morning? Three counts your winners, the Heartbreakers. Wow. Oh, what in the world? You know the history between Daniels and Hall, but what's up with that envelope and what's going to happen Friday night in Nashville? Well, boys, you can talk the talk. Let's see if you can walk the walk. I hear you're out here bragging about what you did to Reno Riggins last night in Nashville, Tennessee. Let me smarten you two up to something. The only reason, the only reason that Reno Riggins wasn't here on TV today was because Mike Porter and the NWA officials wouldn't let him. But that's the last time, and I can promise you, that is the last time that will happen. Because fans in Nashville know when people try to tell us what to do, we are the first ones to bow up and buck the system. Now, next Friday night, I can promise you two goofs this. And that sling blade manager of yours, we are going to be in Nashville. And it will be the Vols. And when we show up, I don't give a damn if it's a title match. I don't give a damn what kind of match it is. Two things are going to happen. We're going to kick your butts, and we're going to walk away with our pride and what we've, what we've built in Nashville, Tennessee. If you think two goofs like you are going to come in here and run roughshod over us, you bring your socks, whatever you got to do. You bring the kitchen sink if you have to. Next Friday night, you two punks, you're going down.